Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Remember I told you guys I was going to do a recording about brain food and have it as kind of a part two or an extended ending of the podcast that I did yesterday. Okay. All right, here we go. And this is just a brief preview of the entire video of these subjects that's going to come out shortly. Okay. Look, I know most of you already know about 666 means in the Bible. Everyone knows what that means in the Bible. So I will tell you this information, not to be anything new to some of you, but there is more to it. But first, before I go there, I need to break down and explain to you in the depth of what it means. You see, the brain follows the dominant energy in the horizon known as heaven. Okay, it's called heaven of the brain called the pineal gland. Everyone knows what the pineal gland is, right? Okay, which gland produces a, and crystallizes, aka Christ a lies, which is spelled C H R I S T A L I Z E, the element called melanin, which is carbon. So, if we take a good look at this system, we can see that this is the way the story of Christ comes into existence. There is more to the story, but I will stop here with that. And you have to watch the video to learn more. But I will say this. The reason why these vampires in their Christian ways make a claim that the mark of the beast 666 is that within melanin, which makes us black people it is six protons six electrons and six neutrons okay which also represents Christ energy you have to metaphysically understand what Christ dying on the cross for your sins mean if sins are adept a depth is an illness which is the flesh that wraps around you which is the soul whenever you are oppressed by your flesh by illness it is melanin that is the healer or the defense against whatever is trying to attack you that which is consuming the knowledge and wisdom hence the spiritual womb called pain for your sins do you understand don't worry it gets deeper but you must stay tuned for the video to find out more thanks for watching